Hello and welcome to a brand new preview episode for Black and Black Cinema. I'm your host, Jay. I'm here with my co-host, Micah. Hey. Terrence. What's up? And special guest, Demetrius. Hey. All right, guys. This is preview for episode 141, Sorry to Bother You. This is the Boots Riley directed film uh, starring Lakeith Stanfield um, as he is dealing with being a like uh, phone bank operator or what have you um, and him sort of dealing with the issues of that with putting on a white voice to get customers. Um, I'm very interested to see this. I have not seen it. Micah, you're the only one of the four of us that have seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Has anybody told you anything about it? No. I just but know I, it gets crazy. That's yeah. all I know. That's, just, all that's all you know is that it that's gets crazy? Know. That's all I know. All right. Don't let anybody tell you anything about it. Because I will, and and when we come in, like we can't talk about it. Like I look, normally I know we know when we see the movies, because we'll especially if it's something ridiculous, because we'll be like, nigga, what the fuck? Or on, on, on Messenger, like, nah, yo, nah. Don't total, say to, nothing. To, total silence. That's right. Total All right, silence that's... until we start recording next week. All right, that's fair. Where yeah. is it available? Uh, it's on Amazon. To yeah, rent it's, on, like it's on video on demand. Yeah, okay. you can get it just about anywhere. If you have cable, those of us who cut the cord. Um, <laughs> anywhere. What is cable? Oh, yeah, what is cable? <laughs> I wouldn't know. Um... All right, so that is the that is the um, that's the movie for next week. So look forward to that for episode one forty one. Uh, let's talk about the preview topic, the random topic of this week, which uh, we are post uh, midterm elections um, in the U.S. Obviously, it was a big deal. A lot of things going on. You can listen to our show. Look forward uh, to get our coverage of that, which was pretty extensive. But what we want to talk about here is there is a I wouldn't say a new phenomenon, but it was certainly very present uh, this year. Which was a lot of black folks and some prominent black voices telling black people not to vote and that voting didn't really matter. So I wanted to get uh, everybody's thoughts on that and whether they agreed with it. I mean, I'm almost positive none of us do because we all voted. Um, but I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on the situation. So I'll start with Terrence and then we'll go this way. Are you talking with me? Yes, sir. Oh, I should have stupid. How happy are you about this? <laughs> I'm not a fan of not not voting. I've been voting since I was 18. I've never not voted. Whether you, it be the presidential feel- election, whether it be midterms, I've never not voted. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm obligated to. Do you think that black people... Do you think it's wrong to vote out of obligation? Out of obligation? Uh, is it wrong to vote out of obligation? No, not, not, I mean... I, I, that's why I do it, and I try to keep abreast of all of the information. Um, right. Sometimes I just don't. I just vote <laughs> just because, which uh, you know. I mean, not, what it is. Most people are not one hundred percent knowledgeable yeah, yeah. about like, every single you, thing. You yeah, know. exactly. Because that's why you see people at the polling places like, "Hey, don't forget to vote for my guy. Remember this yeah, name remember, as yeah, you yeah, walk that, into this." I'm like, I don't want any of that, lady. Get out of my face. Right. Get out of my um, face. But I don't think it's wrong. I think like. A lot of people say, if you don't vote, you can't complain. I believe that. True. I, I, I absolutely believe that. If 100%. you don't vote, don't complain about shit because you didn't do anything to try to change it. Even, even if it even if it doesn't change, you didn't do anything. Right. So fuck you. Yep. Like that's just how I feel. Like I know some people have issues with like uh, districts. Sometimes they move and they don't get their addresses changed. Well, I think there's a difference vote. in. I think there's a difference in. <laughs> Just, not being not, able to vote yeah, just versus saying, not hey, voting. just not going to vote at all. Because um, I, I want to make clear that that's not what we're talking We're not talking about voter suppression yeah, some people or just stuff saying, like that. Hey, don't that's vote because it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Like, yeah. That's what happened in 2016. People yeah. just didn't vote. And look, happened, look where we're at now. Yeah. Look where the fuck we're <laughs> We have a president that looks like he's about to fight, but he's not. <laughs> but <laughs> so, we'll like, nah, now, yo, if, you, if you don't vote, if you're black, I get it. I get the I get the sentiment because like you always say we're a conspiratorial group because we because history <laughs> we're treated like shit we've been treated and we're still treated like shit but nah yo like you gotta vote man you have to if you're registered to vote vote even if you're not registered to vote good registered to vote and vote there were fucking there was um I think here there was same day voting registration 
mm-hmm. on the ballot. On the ballot, yeah. Yep. The initiative to do yeah, that. Yeah, it was initiative to have same day voting in Maryland. Yeah. I, yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, why wouldn't you do that? The only, like, reason, a, the only reason <clears throat> that you wouldn't want people to do that is because you're generally you're a Republican and you don't want more people voting. Exactly. Because you um, lose if they do. And that's, that's the other thing. Like, uh, people vote for the president. No, they like, that's the only one that matters. Like, no. no. That is. That actually opposite. matters. Like, yeah, it matters yeah, that's less. the opposite. Like, you have to pay attention to those initiatives on the ballot because that's where shit changes. Absolutely. Vote. God damn it. <laughs> yo, like, I, I've kind of kept it. I've kind of just kind of stayed out of it. But, like, yo, y'all niggas get on my goddamn nerves. And isn't there, wasn't there one woman? There's that, what was the, the safety pin box chicks? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about her. Not, her name escaped. I don't not the, not the main one, but the the other one. Like she was telling people not to vote. What? Yeah. The younger one? Oh, I think so. Not the. <laughs> yo, I'm yo, she, so out of yo, that. She, I, 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 yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I, can't I, don't, remember, I, I don't run in that realm. I can't but, remember her name. I, oh, wow. But like, yeah, she she posted Jesus on Christ. on um on Twitter and okay. she got dragged for it. Okay, let me just let me just. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Is that I have name? spent a very long time avoiding certain topics mm-hmm. because I feel very strongly about them, and I know sometimes the woman I can that jumped be, on stage. I, her, I, her. I, yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Yep. Thanks for the clarification. Because what I'm about to say, I want to make sure I was absolutely right mm-hmm. before I said it. This is why I never supported that fucking safety pin box thing. Because you jumped on board with a fucking lunatic. You jumped on board with a lunatic. She was. A, she is the same person who went on. I'll look. I'll just say the fucking podcast. I don't even know if it exists anymore. This week in blackness, she's the same fucking lunatic who went on there, and they were like, "Oh, well, what do you have to say about you know the system after she had jumped on the stage with Bernie and all this other shit?" And she was like, "Oh, um, I just want to burn the system down." So you're an anarchist? That's how you figure you're gonna fix the fucking political system? You fucking moron! Yeah, fuck you. And I don't understand. You use white people's guilt to get them to buy into your thing. You're not going to do anything. Oh, here, here's the paperwork. Give black women money. That doesn't fucking fix institutional racism. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? I could not fucking believe people bought into that shit. Her name was Marissa Johnson. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, well, good, I hope someone sends this to you. Drag me on Twitter. I got no, booted. She, she Look, I got banned by the root for saying belly suck this week. <laughs> Bring it. I don't give a fuck. I try to be really fucking conscious about her because I don't want to piss people off. But that was bullshit. You jumped in bed with a fucking lunatic. Oh, she doesn't think you should vote. Of course. She doesn't believe in a fucking political system. But people believed her. Oh, she got on stage and yelled at a white man. So that was enough. Wow. Great. <laughs> fuck you. You want to change the system? Then get your fucking ass up and do something about it. The minimum you can do, the minimum you can do is vote. It's the minimum. You know how long it took me to vote? Fucking five minutes. Yeah, I was in there. I was in there. Five, ten minutes like is 10, it. Like minutes. That's it. And you know why it took longer than normal? Because the ballot initiatives were long as fuck to yeah, read. It was, it was like, <laughs> no bullshit. It was like, yo, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Am I in school? Come on. Like, come on, man. Give a fuck. I mean, look. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like super angry because I have another person I want to call out. But that really makes me mad. Like, it really <laughs> fucking pisses me off. Because you are literally telling black people... And other people, by the way, it's not just black people who listen to you. There's also white people who don't fucking listen, that listen to you for some fucking reason too. But you're telling people that there is no solutions to these problems. So your stance is to sit your ass at home and just wait for the end. What are you, four? What are you, <laughs> fucking four years old? We need to fight back and start a revolution. You ain't even willing to do this. You're not even willing to vote. But you want you to go out there with a machete and a fucking gun and take over the government? <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face. Grow the fuck up. Grow the fuck up. Go to the ballot box, check the fucking shit, and grow up. You know what not voting does? It's just a fucking excuse for people to not read. Oh, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it, yo. I don't know all this shit. Read, nigga. God damn. Just read. All the Democrats and Republicans are the same. If you say that out of your mouth, it's because you're unfucking educated You don't fucking pay attention. You're ignorant as shit. Tariq Nasheed, you're another one. You're on the fucking list, too. Fuck you, nigga. That's what I have to say about that. I, again, I don't fucking say anything about anybody. I try to keep it cool. I try to be easy. But fuck you, dude. Telling black people not to vote. <laughs> nigga, black people were fucking murdered for fucking voting. Mm-hmm. But you're a fucking happy ass out there in your shitty band that sucks, by the way. Your shitty band and your bullshit, fake, woke narrative nonsense. 
You don't do and you don't stand for anything. You don't stand for anything. You all you do is all you do is gin fucking black people up to be fucking angry. Good, be angry and go to the fucking polls. Go to the fucking polls. 2016, you stayed your fucking ass home. Oh, Trump's the fucking worst. Well, you could have had President Grandma, but you didn't give a fuck. You didn't give a fuck. So fuck you, dude. Fuck you, fuck her, fuck anybody who else agrees with it. I don't give a shit. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. We could have a fucking functional goddamn government, but we don't. Oh, I don't give a fuck. You know who does give a fuck? All white people. That's who gives a fuck. The people who you say are ruining the country, but you won't fight to stop them. You don't, you don't beat, you don't beat the other team by not showing up. The Patriots don't fucking win games by staying home. What the fuck? Or they kind of do cheat that well. They yeah, could, all right. Well, if you have a football, home. you can deflate. That's fine. That's fine. But you don't win games by not fucking trying. That's the fucking point. You don't win wars by just fucking sitting at home. You don't. Sometimes you got to fight. And literally, you got to do the minimum. Nobody's saying you got to put a fucking 40-pound rucksack on your back. Take a fucking hill. Nobody's talking about that. <laughs> Walk to your fucking polling place. Mine's at a church. It's not that scary. Yo, this is, fuck this you, is dude. God damn, this shit makes me so fucking mad. <laughs> so yeah, awesome. fuck him, dude. Anyway, my kid, go ahead. Yeah, ain't no fucking way I'm following that. <laughs> yeah, like, no, no, I'm so fucking mad, dude. Yo, uh, I, I, pro I fucking podcast for seven hours on politics this week. And to hear people say, don't give a shit, drives me nuts. I think the, I think the thing that... Fuck. I think the thing that irks me... Is that um, <laughs> there's a there's a sect of people? I wouldn't edit a goddamn thing. Oh, I'm not editing any of this. There's a sect of people who are proud of it. Like it's one thing if you can't. It's one yeah. thing if it's if there or are barriers like, in your way. That's a different story. Actively trying to. Do that's a different story. Yeah, but those like, people, those people, I I got no problem. But like to be like this woman that I saw on Facebook, who wrote, who took the time to. Uh, write a note on a piece of paper and then uh, take a picture <laughs> right. and then post it on Facebook. You could have voted. About why we, right, all that time, you could have just voted. It's a scantron. <laughs> <laughs> this shit ain't that hard. Just, yeah. just now, go now, But no, read what she wrote because I think that's important. This black woman wrote, we didn't vote with a smiley face next to it. We didn't vote because voting never helped the blacks, Hispanics, or Native Americans. And it never will. Our king has already been chosen. I don't know who she's talking Christ. about. Christ. That's who she was talking about right there. Yeah. I didn't read the whole thing. Yo, don't. <laughs> <laughs> you, you tapped out. I didn't vote. Yeah, I know. No, no. I just. Yeah, it, no, Jesus. Jesus is already uh, the Lord. I don't, I don't know cool. that nigga. <laughs> so, I yeah. I'm so I, mad, yo. For people, I ain't never met him. For people to be, so for people to be proud of it, <clears throat> like to be proud to wallow in their ignorance is right. is amazing to me it it i i don't i don't um yo you spitting on your you spitting on your ancestors like if, yeah. if voting if voting didn't matter there wouldn't be a bunch of voting machines wrapped up in georgia right now in not a being used in a warehouse they wouldn't suppress like they, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't they suppress wouldn't try to stop you from doing it just if full it stop. didn't matter like that's the like <laughs> Uh, vote never help black people. Uh, wow. Okay, nigga, you right, would yeah. still be a fucking slave. You'd yeah. still be a fucking slave. Talking about you know, oh, we gotta <laughs> stop the white supremacist and and oh well, we don't, we don't, the problem of white supremacy and the 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 bed wenches and and this that and the other and yo, know, but the one thing you can do, you like the do. one thing you can do, you don't do. That, like it's easy to talk a bunch of shit behind a microphone. And, and, and right, like we got four niggas here doing it. It's easy to talk shit behind a microphone, talking about how you gonna do this. And oh, if I did, like you ain't no better than these YouTube commenters. You ain't no better than like people who complain about people doing shit. Like I, I, I don't know, man. I, I just yeah. don't. I just don't get it. Well, <laughs> I, like, I'm glad I went first. Shit. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. I, I, you know what? I apologize. Maybe I was being too mean. Were you? I don't no, I don't so. actually apologize. I don't apologize for any of it. Well, Go ahead. Okay, so my take on it all is that um, my grandfather... Sorry for the audio news. It'll stop in a second. Yeah, my grandfather and my dad are Prince Hall Masons, and my grandfather was a guy who did take care of the... The Ku Klux Klan, who came down the street 
you know, he, he gathered the pistols. He did all of what he needed to do with his neighborhood and his folks. And my mom tells me stories about it to this day, you know. And as far as my dad's concerned, yeah, like, you know, they were in the middle of the marches. And, you know, I found out recently that the reason my dad went into the military is because he got that letter from the army saying, hey, it's your turn. And my dad was like, I wonder if I can go in the Air Force. And then he went to the Air Force instead of going to the army because he wasn't going to be no grunt. But that was his choice. But then he decided to be a little bit more patriotic about it. And like, you know what? This is something that could help out my family and all this other stuff. Right. Right. So earlier this week, I did share a photo of a black man hanging um, back in the day where he had a picture or he had like a, a, a sign on his on his chest that said this nigger voted. And it's kind of deeply rooted within my own family that the men, the bare minimum that we can do is vote. So, you know, when, when I was younger, we would go vote as a family, you know, we would, you know, we would talk about it. We would, you know, we wouldn't talk about just the big ticket items or anything like that. It's just like, it's always down to, you know, who's going to be uh, the county executive type deal, you know? So it's something that we've always been, a has been a, a thing within my family. Um, my parents are from Florida, so they do absentee vote, voting all the time. But, you know, it's just something that we do. Uh, when when I see anybody who says that they choose not to vote because it doesn't help, you know, I, I look at them. And one time I did put my hands on somebody, you know, and I put my hands on somebody because they decided to put me in a position that and that embarrassed me. And... um it didn't turn out so well for him. <laughs> so it's a passionate See, thing because, we don't vote. <laughs> yeah, you know, like I tell, I tell you a quick story. I was, I was the the PR manager for my former car club, right? So it was my job to put our car club out there to be a part of the community and do what we possibly could. 2012, I got us a part of the um, the uh, the reelection bid for President Obama. Right. right. You know, we I got our names and I got the club all set up at his at his uh, Largo uh, uh, field office. You know, we were there. The open or I was there at the opening for it. But none of my car club members showed up because it wasn't a party, nor was it a photo shoot for their car. So, of course, they weren't going to show up. Then I made sure that I got at least 15 to 20 cars to be available for a souls to the polls sort of situation where we could get the elderly right. to the polls. <laughs> You know, with our cars, you know, three cars showed up. Just don't understand it. I'm trying my best not to call people niggas for <laughs> just that reason because I don't it, have that problem. It's, I don't it's, have that problem. It's not. <laughs> I call white people niggas. Yeah, I, mean, but see, things, like, I, I try to pull back from it as much as possible. But when you put me in a situation where I have no choice but to leave an organization that I believe could have done a, could, have, could have made a difference then I look at the entire thing as right. just a throwaway, you know, because Ooh. they don't believe in the system. You might not believe in the system because of the shit that's been going on and how this, how it's being manipulated, but do your part to do, to affect whatever change you possibly can. Right. So, okay. Let me, let me give a non angry uh, response. Um, if that's even possible. Yeah, for me. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, well, look, you got to shoot for this guys. Um, <laughs> I fundamentally do not understand the logic of not like I I get the poor thought process behind the logic of not participating is somehow making a stand, right? Like I can you can say I'm going to take my ball and go home. I'm not going to participate in your your little thing, right? What I does that help that? What does that help that person? Well, that that's my point, right? I, I can understand I can understand yeah. the flawed logic. I just don't agree. I obviously I don't understand. I, I don't agree with that. No, I mean as a generality, not in voting, right? Where you can take a stance and be like, I'm not going to participate in this thing. But the problem is, when you don't participate, it doesn't stop other people, especially more conservative Americans, from participating. It doesn't stop the opposition. Right. So it's, you don't take the ball home and you're like, well, I have all the voting things. So nobody gets to play. Like, Nigga, they got a bunch of balls. Right. <laughs> so you they just go, home. they're like, okay, well, then you're just easier to beat. Right. Yeah. You're not taking your ball and going home. You're forfeiting. 
Right. Yeah. That yeah, they still get yeah. the win. Like <laughs> that, it, it doesn't it doesn't go, oh well it's a draw. Like that's yeah. not how it works. So fundamentally, I don't I just don't get how you think that makes sense. And the other thing that bothers me when I see black people do this specifically, it bothers me. Um, th- this argument that voting has never helped black people. To me, what that tells me is, again, rewind back to my rant, you are incredibly uneducated to American history. Has it always been perfect for black people? Has voting been used to hurt us? Absolutely. These are not things that are some like newly discovered fact. But when you say that it has never helped black people, it shows me you don't really pay attention. I don't really, really give a fuck. Or it's rigged. Or these other like bullshit things that people say that I think they think sound smart. But it doesn't actually sound smart. To people who are actually paying attention, we know that you're full of shit. Dude, that's, what, that's, what it's, that's what it says to me. You see, things like people don't realize that indigent servitude was in Florida in effect until at least 1982. 1980 fucking two people were still in indentured servitude. Let this shit sink in. Yeah, right? I won. Right. <laughs> like, right. You know what I'm saying? Alive. Yeah. And like that, it, it just, if for you to sit there and, and want to, and like this is Jason one dude Volk specifically who's it? Yeah, this is one dude, right. it, like he's in cosplay, or at least he does cosplay stuff, but then yeah, he was so proud of how he didn't vote because, you know, it's all about the banks and the, um, and the, and the, and the private lobbyists and shit. I'm like, you wouldn't be who you are today if it wasn't for the sacrifices of your ancestors. Getting out there and To vote. get out there and vote. You know, people talk about, oh, well, you know, our, our our family structure isn't the same as it was back in the 60s because they took all the followers from them. Okay. What are you doing right now to help affect that change? Yeah. Are you voting to get felons to the, the right to uh, to, to vote again? Vote. That was in that's, Florida. That's something that happened in Florida. They of all won. fucking places. And they won. And, they won. and, they, and it won. So the thing is... You, Again, that's that, that's a prime example. Voting never helped any black people. Literally 21% of black adults in Florida could not vote. But because of that law, now they can. So what does that not matter now? Mm. Right? They don't count because it doesn't work with your dumb fuck narrative? This is what I'm talking about. It's because you don't actually read anything. You don't fucking read. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. You can go to YouTube and watch a video. <laughs> Like, they tell you I mean, this they shit. they go to YouTube, but they be watching Tariq Nasheed. Yeah, a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> like, but a bunch of bullshit. Oh, it doesn't help anybody. Talk to black fucking former, you know, people who have been locked up for weed who got their constitutional rights taken from them. Mm-hmm. Taken from them. Talk to them about whether voting matters. The same law. Fucking, it was the, the, Tuesday. The same it's not drug, 30 years ago. It was fucking Tuesday. <laughs> the same drug Jesus. they went to prison for. White yeah, you're women, right. I can't do white women, <laughs> <laughs> white women are being celebrated for. They're being better moms because they're smoking weed now on yeah, USA so. Today and shit. Yeah, right. So. The same drug, right? That know, destroyed the they destroyed family. families. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying took it. I don't know. Yeah, I, don't I mean, know. to me, okay. So the the Florida thing is a, is a big deal, right? And it's like, oh, I, I saw on um, Tariq Nasheed's page, he said, oh, well, voting for you know Barack Obama was just you know basically like it didn't really matter that he won, right? And I'm like, again, just profound, unbridled ignorance, right? What do you want, yo? (laughs) Pre-existing conditions, nigga. Like, that's all you got to say. Right. Talk to black people with medical issues, dude. You think that shit would have happened under Donald Trump? No. They're trying to get rid of it. Or Mitt Romney? No. Well, and funny, because it it was his plan. And then he was like, oh, I don't want it for the nation. I was like, all right, nigga. Like, just go sit down. But, But, like, my whole thing is... To, to just throw those things away, but then somehow pretend that you give a fuck about black people to me. And it's always these like, I'm super woke. No, I, I'm a, like, I super care about black people. That's why I want them to not have a voice in the fucking democracy they live in. Has everything been, is everything equal? No, it's not. That doesn't mean you don't try. That doesn't mean you don't try. You don't just walk the fuck off the field and go, well, I hope you guys figure it out. What are you waiting on white people to figure it out? Mm. What the fuck are you talking about? Mm. Again, you're talking about some sort of revolution. You won't even walk your ass to a polling place. What war are you fighting? 
What the fuck? Like, what the hell are you talking about? I can't wait till 2032 when most of the country is brown. Jesus fucking <laughs> Christ. I can't wait. But if you still don't vote, there's still yeah, going to be brown people who vote matter. against you. Right. Like, come on, man. There are Cubans who are conservative. And that's fine if that's what they want to do. I vehemently disagree with them. Get off your ass. You want to have a voice in the democracy. You want to have a voice in, look, we're in Baltimore, right? Massive issues with police shootings and all this other shit of innocent black black men. Texas, massive issues with black people being killed there, right? Super, super big story. Hey, guess what? Tariq Nasheed or that, what's the woman's name? Or something. Yeah. Whatever. Hey, here's a story that you might not have heard because you don't fucking read the news. 19 black women were fucking named to the fucking Texas bench for fucking 19 black women judges. You know why? Because people fucking voted. Don't mm-hmm. tell me that shit don't help black people. Shut the fuck up and go read a goddamn book. Well, Besides a bunch of bullshit that you read online. Fuck you, dude. God but, damn it, that makes me so fucking mad. But, but they're bed wenches, right? Yeah, I guess they are <laughs> bed wenches. Nigga, you can't spell bed wench. Fuck out of my <laughs> face. Stop listening to dumb niggas talk about a bunch of bullshit. There's an E in there, right? <laughs> fucking furious we are we are a people uh, again like i said we are a people that are very conspiratorial about a lot of things and a lot of it is rooted in some serious fucking facts and i get that but guess what it's 2018 wake up wake up just wake my, the fuck up my thing is the dudes God that damn. actually like the people that did vote like we saw the polls and uh especially in florida like Gillum, he lost so they may be doing a, a, a recount, a recount. Mm-hmm. Like twelve percent of black men voted for the for the for the Santos. The yeah. Santos. Why? I mean, look, I don't, I don't care. Understand why, I don't care. I don't care. Why, I, look, I don't understand it either. I don't. I, I don't, don't get that. I don't. I don't care why. He's a racist, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Like, that's he why, is a that's why I brought that one up in particular because it's a fucking racist. I mean, I don't care like, why you vote. Like, you don't have to vote Democrat. Right. That's my like, thing. Just vote. But give you know, a fuck. Give a shit. Like, you gotta give a shit. Like that's why they say that we we lazy and ignorant and shit like that because because we don't give a shit. And you also like like you said you're celebrating your level of ignorance. Yeah, yeah come hey, on. Hey, I man. didn't vote. Fuck you. Like what the fuck, dude? Like, that shit is not anything to be. <laughs> that proud shit is not of, cute. Man. Yeah. If you didn't vote and because you just didn't want to vote, just keep your goddamn mouth shut. Right. Don't go on social media being like like you're bragging because you're not standing for anything. You're not standing for anything. Hey, are you upset that 13 people just got murdered in Thousand Oaks, California? Yeah, guess what? When you vote, maybe you can change fucking gun laws. Maybe you can change it so that it's not so easy for a mentally deranged person to get guns. Oh, by the way, Obama did that. And guess what? When you didn't give a fuck and let Trump win, he reversed it. Good. Just for no fucking For no fucking reason. Oh, my cousin got killed. Yeah, did it in a mess shooting by a crazy person? You don't say. You don't say. So this was in the New Yorker the other day. O'Kane, who no longer lives in Nevada, used to be a Democrat, but she's been uh, a Republican for some years now. I asked her if she were still a voter in the state's 36th district, who would she vote for? The dead Republican who raped her serially, annually, I mean, annually without a condom or his Democratic challenger, a gun owning assistant principal running on education reform, gun safety and protecting water rights. She offered some kind words about Lisa Romanoff. I like her a lot. She's a nice person. Then paused for a breath. Tired. I won't make you read in between the lines. She said, I'd vote for Dennis. Isn't that the nigga that's dead? Yeah. Dennis Hoff? Yeah, yeah he's yeah. dead. Yeah, he's yeah dead. The, the guy from Cat The Bunny Ranch guy. Yeah. All right. right. I mean, look. Uh, yeah, that's a, but those people still vote. Those people, right. they, they still, still vote, vote. Like, but like, then don't vote against your own fucking interests. Yeah, that's that's, well, that's, that's, that's that drives me fucking. I mean, that's crazy. a whole nother. That's a look. We gotta get niggas to the polls first. Like, we can barely get you dumb niggas to go to go out there and vote. But oh, God. Uh, what about what about the argument that um, you know I vote blue. I live in a blue state. Uh, we're we're going to win, win either state. way. We're going to win regardless. Right. So yeah. what's the point? Uh, local vote. Lo- local election. That's what I'm saying. Like, like the local that, elections would have been all the initiatives on the right. front right. ground. Like, attorney generals, mm-hmm. you vote for attorney generals. The, that is not a, that is not a, that is not determined whether your whole state is blue. But, right. uh, by but the way. A lot of people say that. Right. And a lot like, well, I'm a Democrat, so. What's the point? Maryland's blue. Wait, wait, wait. But you're voting for your governor. So yeah, that don't matter. Not, uh, but but you know you know why you know why people say that? 
Because those are the people who've never voted. So they don't know how voting actually works. That's what that... T- Again, it is very obvious. You can hear people's bullshit the second it comes out of their mouth. Well, you know, I, I just don't because I'm a Democrat. Yeah, but again, there are all these other things. The ballot initiative that Terrence talked about where you can, you know, allow same-day registration and voting. They got nothing to do with Democrat or Republican. It didn't say Democrats agree with this or yeah. Republicans agree with it. It was yes or no on the ballot initiative. So again... These are just bullshit excuses because you don't want to try. Man. And again, it's voting. It's the easiest thing in the world. They're like, well, if voting was online, I'd do it. No, you wouldn't. No, you, <laughs> no, you wouldn't. If you weren't willing to go <laughs> 10 minutes down the road and stand in the line for 10 minutes to do, I'm done, here you go, then you're not willing to do it. I'm not willing to do it. Shit, this shit online, I'm not even willing to do it. I'm like, ah, it seems like a lot to log in. Like, ah, eh. like, no. So don't tell me, don't, don't give, stop giving a bunch of bullshit excuses. Own your ignorance. And see, things, like not, some of these people, yeah, they do. The, the, that's the problem. The ballot yeah. initiatives right. also go towards, like, oh, damn, man. My, my road's got like eight, nine, ten potholes in this bitch. Yeah. You know, you're deciding where the money is going to. Yeah. You know yeah. where it's coming to from. Give money to fucking inner city schools to right. fix those up. On yeah, the ballot. yeah. Like, like, my, inner city schools are terrible. Uh, there was a ballot initiative to give uh, nine million dollars. Oh, well, I vote, but I, they're 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 screwed up. These white people don't give a fuck. Yeah, no, you don't give <laughs> a fuck. They give a fuck. They came out and voted. You will never see a large swath of white people go and don't go vote. You get it? What is that? About? You, you, you get it? Because we have been taught. We have been taught. To we have been disempowered, and over time it has worked on some people that even when you get empowered, you disempower yourself again. No, we have been empowered enough that we have our own, we can make our own shit, we can live in our own houses. Now it's time to go, okay, we got our own. Now let's get out there and fucking vote and make changes. It's That's like, how this shit works. That's how it works. It's kind of ironic that people who don't vote are actually doing exactly what the white man would. Want them 100%. to hundred percent. But they, they think that they're defying them. Yeah. Oh, master ain't going to tell me what to do. I'll pick this cop myself. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. That's what you're saying, dude. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. And we'll leave it on that note. Because I think that's pretty good. Right? I'm going to yeah, George Costanza. Yeah, you got to go out on a hot note. Yeah, I'm going to leave it on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... We will be back next week. I will probably be more calm when we do Sorry to Bother You, depending on how that movie ends. I don't know. (laughs) All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't. Um, All right. Next week. Take it easy. Don't be a libertarian. Or Or Green Party. Really? Really? What the fuck you trying to do? All right, yo. All right, yo. Golly, yo. Did you see how many votes them bitches got? No, my question is this. This is my question. No, we gotta go. We gotta go. go. Let's look at all go. Look, I'll just say this before we leave. Libertarianism is politics for 13 year olds. Get out of here. You're watching the Black on Black Cinema YouTube channel. Make sure you check out our full reviews of black movies, past and present. And every other week, we do a preview episode where we talk about a random topic that affects the black community.